Hi guys, Andrew here. Today I have a great question from Jason. And Jason asks, in your experience, what is the average cost per lead using pay-per-click advertising? This is a great question. This is a common question that I get, but not just for pay-per-click advertising, but also for search engine optimization, for direct mail, for door hangers, all of these different marketing strategies that we can employ to sell your services and market your business. So really good question. But unfortunately, it's not a simple answer. It's not $5 per lead and it's not $500 per lead. It's going to vary drastically depending on a number of different factors. And let me give you, let me give you a couple of different examples. And we'll, and we'll start with pay-per-click, of course. So pay-per-click advertising, every pay-per-click system out there basically works on a uh, sort of on a um, on a bidding system so you're bidding along with all of your competitors for very specific keyword combinations some keyword combinations cost less per click than other ones it just depends on how many different competitors are bidding on that phrase so if you're in a market and there's 50 lawn care companies all bidding for lawn care Tulsa Oklahoma then it's probably gonna be pretty expensive it could be five it could be ten dollars a click it's gonna depend on your market and then again if you're in a smaller market that's less competitive and there's only 10 or 5 people bidding on your keywords on lawn care Tulsa or lawn care small city USA then the cost per click is going to be a lot less. It might be $2 a click. It might be $3 a click. So it's going to be completely dependent on your market and the service that you're trying to um, sell and get clicks for. I'll give uh, you know, another example. And consider yourself lucky in the market that you're in because some of the markets that I've worked in, such as insurance and, and doctors, cosmetic surgery, very expensive clicks. Insurance companies at, at sometimes they're playing $75 per click. $75 per click. That's not even signing up a new customer. That's just somebody clicking on their link to get to their website, okay? So if you're feeling like $10 a click is, is crazy, well, let me consider yourself lucky because in other industries, it's much, much more. So this is a really good question. So this also I want to take this question a little bit further because it also applies to direct mail in search engine optimization and all of these different strategies that we can employ. So the cost per lead, if you're doing a direct mail campaign or a door hanger, you know, that can be affected by the weather. It can be affected by the quality of the copy, the text that you have on your direct mail campaign. All of these things play a huge factor on if that person's gonna call or visit your web website or contact you to actually become a lead. So the quality of your direct mail piece, just like the headline and the quality of your pay-per-click ad affects how many people click on the ad, the same is true with your direct mail. The quality of your copy, your headlines, the photos you use, these all have an impact on the percentage of people who pick up the phone and call you. Pay-per-click, it affects the percentage of people who click through your ad and go to your website or click on your phone number and call you okay so that's where an expert really comes into play because experts know what to write how to write it and they can really get those click-through rates and those call rates up higher and generate more leads than you know your business owner who's trying to do it himself to save a buck well oftentimes what happens when business owners try to do everything themselves when they're not really a master of these different marketing methods they cost themselves money rather than saving money, okay? So it's much deeper than just setting up an ad. Your competitors, the 50 competitors in your market who are all bidding on the same key phrases as you in pay-per-click advertising, some of those ads are performing a lot better than other ads because of the way they're written and the call, the call to action that they have in the ads in a number of different factors. There's lots of different factors that come into play, but unless you're an expert at that particular field of marketing, you're not going to be able to maximize your marketing dollars in those areas. Another example, let's, let's touch briefly on search engine optimization while we're talking about this, because this is a, uh, another area where your cost per lead can vary greatly. And it can vary greatly in the same ways that uh, 
what's on your actual website? Is, it, is your website laid out in a way that encourages people to call? Is the information that they need in order to make a decision presented in a way that they can digest it quickly without hitting that back button? Is it easy for them to request an estimate through their website? All of these factors play a part in whether or not they become a lead, which can affect your cost per lead. How much you're spending to get somebody to call you or give you their information. The same is true is when you're in the middle of a search engine optimization campaign and your website is slowly, slowly climbing up to that number one position on Google for any given key phrase. As you climb up on that search results page, on that first page of Google, you're getting more and more and more leads as you get up to that number one position. So your ranking also has a big impact on how many leads you get from a search engine optimization campaign. So that also affects the customer acquisition cost for that particular marketing strategy. So there isn't a set number. It's gonna depend on how well you execute, the competition in your market, and a number of different factors. But that's, that's pretty much an overview. So this is really where it pays to hire an expert who really knows what they're doing in any of these different strategies that you're trying to implement. So I hope I answered your question. You know, I wish it was a simple number, but that's not how it is. It's, you know, it's kind of a complicated topic. There's a lot of factors that play a part, but I hope that gave you a, an, an idea of the sort of the things that we deal with with our clients on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, these are the strategies that we implement and we're trying to get them the, the lowest client acquisition cost possible. So fantastic question, keep them coming. Uh, be sure to visit the website, send me an email, ask me another question, I'd love to answer it for you. In the meantime, sign up for our podcast. There's a link on here, go check out our podcast, subscribe to that. We, get, we post a new episode every week on iTunes. Good stuff. All right, take care guys, good luck. Execution, how you implement it, how you close the sale, huge implicum, implicate, yeah. <laughs>